Russia's advance into Kiev's western suburbs had paused, and in a break in the fighting, they showed off his MOR anti-tank missile system. A flood of anti-tank missiles sent to Ukraine has potentially changed the course of the war, putting pressure on Russia to find enough capable troops for the grueling urban combat that is now more likely. The British government says it has delivered 3,615 anti-tank weapons to Ukrainian forces fighting the Russian invasion, and it is one of Kyiv's most advanced systems. For some military analysts, the number of latest generation anti-tank missiles shipped to Ukraine in recent weeks is breathtaking, giving Ukraine soldiers an arsenal of these weapons that may be unprecedented in a major modern war. The Enlor is a short-range anti-tank missile whose characteristics make it sort of a hybrid. It's armed with a powerful 115mm high-explosive anti-tank warhead designed to knock out Russian main battle tanks at short ranges. But like other disposable launchers favored by NATO militaries, it's a single-use system with basic optics and which is extremely easy to use. Even the Enlor firing mechanism is a novelty. Instead of an embedded lever or trigger on its launch tube, it has an ergonomic grip on its right-hand side behind the bulbous muzzle brake. To aim the Enlor, a basic optical sight with 2.5 times magnification is installed on the launcher. Time from target detection to engagement is approximately 5 seconds. Enlor can be used in an attack from almost any position, from up high in a building to behind a tree or even in a trench. Operators can fire down 45 degrees and can shoot from inside a building, from a basement or from the second floor of a building out of the range of most tanks. In direct attack mode, the Enlor can be used against soft targets including trucks, buses and helicopters. but can also be fired into buildings, where it will cause significant damage. However, as with other modern anti-tank weapons, the Enlor is a one-shot, one-kill platform. At $40,000 per unit, it isn't exactly cheap, yet it is still an effective way to take out a far more high-asset target such as a main battle tank. Fire! Fire. Fire.